Wilson for Doppler 7 weather. And it's for that reason that we still have that flash flood watch and a flood watch across southern Colorado. We are going to see this basically through at least tomorrow or until the National Weather Service says it's not necessary anymore. Again, the Animus River very, very close to minor flood stage at this point, more toward Farmington than Cedar Hill, but we're still about a foot away uh, from flood stage there in southern Colorado. So we'll keep a close eye on that for you. Right now, most, if not all, of the showers we're seeing are across northeast New Mexico. And They've been heavy at times overnight, even close to Clayton, Red Tone. And they're going to stay heavy through the day on and off. We could see some strong storms, severe weather also possible here today, tomorrow, on through Sunday. You can see where those showers are falling right now through Springer. If you're headed out on the road, Red Tone, same thing. Clayton, once again, you are still getting wet. Some of those storms really building as they head into the Texas Panhandle. Now, yesterday, we really saw some of those winds kick in. Some of the storms that were collapsing almost 40 miles away gave us some really strong, storms in the South Valley. It looked like it was snowing because of all the cottonwood blowing around. And so maybe you saw that too. Today, the winds will be a lot better across New Mexico. Some of you maybe towards Silver City and Lordsburg getting a little bit of the stronger breezes, about 15, 20 miles an hour, but that's pretty much it. Through the day, what we're really focusing on is again that new active weather that's pushing in. We're already seeing the storms and showers across northeast New Mexico, and that's really where it's going to focus on for the next 24 hours. Again, you can see where they're going to be strong into today across the those mountaintops too, we could see strong heavy showers. Into tomorrow, more showers, more broad, widespread showers continuing for New Mexico into the afternoon, into the evening, even across the Albuquerque metro area. So if you have outdoor plans for tomorrow, make an alternate option. These will continue into Sunday morning as well. And again, they could be strong for the next few days. Into next week, it looks like we start to dry out and warm up. Temperature is going to be below average for today across the entire state, 70s and 80s in northern New Mexico. Again, these are areas where we're going to see a lot of rain. Southern New Mexico dry for today, really through the weekend as well. 87 in Silver City, 98 in Carlsbad, 87 for Albuquerque today. So similar to what we saw or felt yesterday, but more active weather, rain on the way. Here's that 12-hour planner for you. Again, those showers and storms kicking in about lunchtime and continuing through tonight into tomorrow. Sunday looks to be a little drier, so if you want to make outdoor plans for that day, I would still have that alternate option with you, but it looks like probably the pick of the weekend. Monday, we start to dry out. Slight chances of storms were still warm, and then you can see into next week, we start to get into the 90s there. You can always check weather updates, too, on your mobile app. Super helpful if you're driving anywhere and traveling. Todd? 451.